The Blitzborker came agonizingly close to winning the London Sevens on Sunday, losing to eventual winners Scotland, but finished the season overall in second place. Meanwhile, in Super Rugby Round 13, there were wins for the Sharks, Bulls and Lions. To discuss these results and more, we are joined in studio by Sport24 editor Garen Namney and chief writer Rob Howing. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me this morning. Morning, Hi, Nick. So some consolation, Rob, for the Blitzbocker, I'm going to start with you, was two of, two, of our, two of the South African players were named in the London Dream Team, that being um, Roscoe Speckman, Tim Agaba, and Sibylla Sanatla, the top try scorer overall this season with 66 tries. So not bad. Yeah, um, they're, they're a, a bit of a sort of a, a mystery side, really, the Blitzbocker. Um, difficult to really say, you know, uh, are they going to be compelling, uh, you know, gold medal candidates at the Olympics mm. uh, or not? On the plus side, um, as you say, lots of good individuals. I mean, Sinatla is an absolute gem in, in the in the sevens format. Mm. Um, when he gets ahead of steam, uh, you know, watch out try line. He's, he's, he's over it. You know, it's... it's uh, uh, he, he's just he's got that that sort of X factor and that uh, blinding pace at times. Um, still a few issues around um, the filtering in of these 15s guys yeah. into sevens. Um, I'm not certain that that South Africa have quite got that right. You know, uh, your sort of Hoharts, Kankovskis, the possibility still of your you know Habana. Um, it, it, it causes mm. a, a, a quite a complicated little dynamic uh, in terms of sort of you know building up that sort of team morale and everything. Um, the Blitzbox look terrific at times. Uh, almost at every tournament, they play a good game or two or three really good games along the way. For instance, say, knocking over a Fiji or a New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And then somewhere along the line, they also stumble. Um, and a classic case again at the weekend. Um, finished uh, you know, second in this tournament and second overall. Uh, but losing to Scotland in the final was, was not what, was what people were expecting. Mm -hmm. Scotland have never visited the final previously. Um, they were trailing 26-15 with less than two minutes left on the clock. Um, and somehow um, South Africa contrived to let them to let gaps open up in their defence um, suddenly and let the Scots in for two unlikely scores that, that saw them sort mm. of nick the spoils right at the death. Um, so I mean, a lot of us were left pretty aghast at that. And it does bring up this whole question of up there, you know, uh, is do the Blitzbox really have it mentally? Do they have the hunger mm. to to be able to to push to go all the way? There's no question that they have. I think the the depth of talent to be able to uh, mm. to win in in Brazil. But, um, you know, it, it is a worry that they, they knock over big scalps along the way mm. in tournaments and then somehow they, they just don't manage to, uh, to put the cherry on top. So lots to think about uh, as they start preparing in the next few weeks. Mm. I suppose the nature of sevens, Garen, um, I guess no surprise then that, that Fiji uh, again have won the overall standings. But in terms of individual tournaments, it is quite unpredictable. I mean, Scotland winning... Um, the, the yeah, London yeah. Sevens, you know, out of out of nowhere, uh, out of obscurity. So I guess that is a concern going into the Olympics. Uh, the Blitzbock are traditionally a very strong side, but once all tournaments can go to anyone. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a very bizarre, these, this how the Sevens tournaments work. You know, often you have these back-to-back -back tournaments. And you think last week in Paris, Samoa won the tournament. But mm. then this week in London, they lost all three of their group games. Mm. So, you know, didn't even get out of the group. So... It is very bizarre. It, it doesn't seem like you can go back to back and put in two top performances. Mm. Um, you know, having said that, the Blitzbock have been fairly consistent this year, but just not consistent enough to sort of pip Fiji for the title. Mm. They defended their title again. The Fijians, you know, they blow hot and cold. They seem to be un unbelievable in certain matches, but then they'll they'll lose a group game, but they'll just do enough to get through, and then they sort of peak towards the the playoff quarters, semis, and, and the final. Very difficult team to sort of beat when they're on song. They can blow teams out. They'll put 40, 50 mm -hmm. points on you in a, in a final. So now the Blitzbucker, just as Rob said, just seem to stumble along the way at some point. It's almost like you sort of expect them to lose to the minnow team, but then will be more competitive against the bigger team. And heading into the Olympics, obviously a shorter sort of format, only 12 teams as opposed to like the 20 odd that turn up at all these um, other uh, events. So, you know, there the are a lot of these knockout games. And I just worry a little bit about the BMT, mm. you know, the whole choker factor in, in the sevens as well. You know, I, I'd, I'd be shocked if we didn't at least reach the semifinals. And then it's a case of you win the semifinal, you're guaranteed a medal, just whether it's gold or silver. If you lose the semifinal, then you go into this third, fourth playoff. Obviously, the winner of that game will get the bronze medal. So, I, you know, I certainly think they are one of our better medal prospects for Rio. But, you know, at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if they sort of have to play in that bronze medal match mm. as well. You know, New Zealand will be up for this, Fiji certainly, England, you know, mm. part of the Great Britain team. They'll contribute a fair number of players to that. Australia will be fairly competitive. And then these outside teams that, you know, have sort of done well in, in, in one-off tournaments, like the USA, for example. Yeah. You know, they've got some real 
fast players, and there's no substitute for speed in, in, in sevens, as we've seen. And they blew out the US, um, New Zealand this weekend as well, 42 odd points. I think it was at the quarterfinals there. You know, they're going to be up for it as well. So the Pittsburghers certainly have their work cut out for them, but uh, I'd be still disappointed if we didn't pick up a medal. Mm.